Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Eltham's Landing, located in New Kent County, Virginia, on May 7, 1862. After the Battle of Williamsburg and a retreat of the Confederate forces back towards Richmond, General McClellan ordered Brigadier General William B. Franklin's division to board transports on the York River and to cut off Johnston's retreat. Franklin and his men dismounted their transport at Eltham's Landing, which was on the south bank of the Pamunkey River across from West Point. From there, it was about 8 kilometers south to the town of Barhamsville, where a key intersection on the road to New Kent Court was being used by the Confederates under Johnston on May 4th. The Union landed in light pontoon boats, and a 400-foot-long floating wharf was built from those pontoons and lumber so the supplies could be unloaded. On May 7th, Johnston ordered his men to protect the road to Barhamsville. Those defenders were attacked by the 11,000 men under General William B. Franklin. The attack was less bloody than the earlier one when Franklin realized he was too late. They would not be able to cut off the Confederate troops before the Confederate soldiers got back to Richmond. The delay lasted as long as it did because of the leadership of Confederate Brigadier General John Bell Hood. He was ordered not to engage fully, just to hold the Union troops off as long as they could. Hood's Texans were successful in pushing the Union back long enough for Johnston to escape. At that time, Hood pulled his men back and joined the Confederate Army's retreat towards Richmond. The total killed and wounded and missing for the Union was 186 men, while the Confederates only suffered 48 men lost themselves. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.